Okay, everyone, I just bought a GeForce 3 Phantom Drive for my Xbox One. And one thing I like to say, I am organizing my room, so you'll see a lot of mess. Comes with a 3.0 USB drive, I mean, USB cord. This and the power adapter. Okay, I'm going to put it in my Xbox One, see how it works. On this phantom drive here, it's 2 terabyte. When I installed it in my Xbox One, it shows as 1.8 terabytes. Brand new, nothing's on it as of yet. Okay, I got a GeForce 3 Phantom Drive, two TVs. This is what it looks like so far. Now I'm going to click this format for games and apps, set up external storage. Format storage device. Now I'm going to name my device. Let's see. Okay, I put my name in there. You restrict it to 12 characters. Probably can't see it. Phantom 2 TB Fat. That's the name of mine. Okay. Now I'm going to enter. It says install things on Phantom 2 by default. If you make Phantom 2 the place to install new games and apps, we'll use that from now on. You can change this anytime in settings, systems, and manage storage. Okay, I'm going to install new things here. When formatting is done, you'll be able to use the games and apps on Phantom with any Xbox One you plug into it. It will be usable only with Xbox One consoles. I'm going to put format storage device. Now right now on my internal I have 40.5 percent with 217 gigabytes free of 364.9 gigabytes that it gave me not the 500. So it says that it is ready. And I'm going to click that and view its contents. Of course, there's nothing in it. When you install games, you'll see them here. Go here, view contents, and I'm going to put some of these in my external hard drives. This oh, great! So, here I'm going to click this, uh, view contents here. On games. Then I want to go to here. You press the little button. It says for more options. The little button on your control that used to be where the start button's at. Press that. Pin to home. See an Xbox store. Manage game. It says it's in the internal. Now I want to. Move all, copy all, or uninstall all. Now I want to move it, not copy it. So I'm going to click on move all, and I want to move it 
to the Phantom Drive. Now this was something that was already installed on the Xbox memory, so I want to put it in there. So right now, writing it in my Phantom. See how long this takes. 8%, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You can see it's blue light. 28%. Twenty-nine. Supposedly this phantom drive has 7200. What is it? RPMs? I don't know what it's called. But supposedly it's supposed to be faster when moving something. This game says 8.8 .8 gigabytes. Right there. Sorry my camera's really crappy. How long this takes? It's done. So after downloading that game on here, remember it said 1.8 TB. Now it says 7% used. That's the only thing I have put on here so far. I guess my internal storage says now 40.5% used. I have 217 free. So that's basically how that works. Sorry, it's my first video. And thank you for watching. Bye bye. So let's see what a slightly, well, what a smaller 1.8 gigabyte, how fast that takes. Let's put manage, or move all to the phantom drive. So I'm going to move. See how long that takes. That was kind of fast. Okay, there you go. Guess what? 20 seconds? I don't know. After that one, it says now 40% use. I have 218.9 gigabytes free.